Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Mayor of the Borough of Bracknell Forest, Councillor Ash Merry. Thank you. Good evening. I'd like to welcome you all to this second hybrid council meeting. Please note that I am waiving the requirement within the council procedure rules which requires members to stand when addressing the meeting. Please remain seated. The meeting is being broadcast and recorded. If there are any technical issues, please bear with us. Unfortunately, my chaplain, the Reverend Malcolm Chalmers, is unable to attend this evening as he is unwell. I won't be stepping into his shoes to say prayers, but I did want to say a few words about two sad losses within the wider Bracknell Forest Council family. Martin Gokey worked as a chief officer of Bracknell Forest Borough Council, working in education and children's services until May 2010. He then worked as an independent consultant and continued to support the Bracknell Forest community in a number of roles, including being active at Youthline on the school's forum, serving as a community member on College Hall's management committee and as a governor at Kennel Lane School. He will be missed by colleagues across the education field. Clive Temperton, the husband of our Labour leader, Councillor Mrs Mary Temperton, sadly passed away earlier this week. He was well known in the local community and he served as a Bracknell Town Councillor. We all send huge condolences to Councillor Mary, Mrs. Temperton, and our condolences to all her family, and our thoughts are with her. And I hope Trish and Paul and Catherine, you can pass that on to her. She's, she's very much in our thoughts. I now declare the meeting open, but before you, but I'd like to thank you for like, I'd like to thank Malcolm Chalmers in his absence for his support as my chaplain. While I'm still mayor, I'd like to take the opportunity to announce the amounts that I have raised for my chosen charities, the British Forces Foundation and SAFA. During my challenging time as mayor, I have raised £10,282, which, which has been split between them and has been very well received. <laughs> and used accordingly. Thank you, members, much appreciated. Now to the first item on the agenda. Are there any apologies for absence? Madam Mayor, I've received apologies from councillors Atkinson, Mrs Mackenzie, councillor Mossum, and of course, councillor Temperton. Thank you, Chief Executive. Councillors joining remotely, Please turn on your microphone and, and state that you are present when the Chief Executive calls your name and anyone who does not respond will be recorded as giving their apologies. Thank you, Madam Mayor. So, Councillor Mrs Hayes. Present. Councillor Ms Hayes. Present. Councillor Hayden. Present. Councillor Kennedy. Present. Councillor Kirk. Present. Councillor Parker. Present. Councillor Skinner. Present. I think that's all. Are there any other members that are with us online that I've not called? Uh, yes, uh, Chief Executive. It's Councillor Mrs Ingham. I was to be present in the chamber, but was unable to at the last moment due to ill health. Okay, thank you, Councillor. Mrs. Ingham. Okay. No, I think. Councillor Mrs. Hamilton, could you indicate you're online and present at the meeting virtually? Councillor Mrs Hamilton, if, if you do um, manage to get back online, we'll, we'll call, you, call out your name a bit later. Thank you. 
We now come to the next item, which is the full de de uh, text for declaration of interests is set out on the agenda at item two. If any councillor has a disclosable pecuniary interest or an affected interest to declare, please indicate by raising your hand and I will come to you in turn. Thank you, there are no interests indicated. The first bu business of the annual meeting is to elect a mayor for the forthcoming municipal year. Would a member of the council like to propose a nomination? Councillor, uh, Councillor Betterson. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I would like to nominate Councillor Anker Shiv Bandari. Thank you, Councillor Betterson. Is that seconded? Councillor Dale Birch, I am immensely pleased to uh, second uh, that nomination. Are there any other nominations? There being no further nominations, I declare that Councillor Anka Shiv Bandari has been duly elected Mayor of the Borough of Bracknell Forest for the 2022-2023 municipal year. Could I ask you to <laughs> congratulate our new Mayor? We will now move to the formal declaration. So, Councillor <coughs> Bandari, if you could repeat the Mayor's declaration after me. I, Anchor Shiv Bandari. I, Anchor Shiv Bandari. Having been elected to the office of Mayor of Bracknell Forest Council. Having been elected to the office of Mayor of Bracknell Forest Council. Declare that I take that office upon myself. Declare that I take that office upon myself. And will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it and will duly and faithfully fulfill the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability according to the best of my judgment and ability On. Yeah. I'm honored and humbled to be given this opportunity to serve as mayor of Bracknell Forest. Uh, this borough has given us so much, and I look forward to the next year to give a little bit back, you know, as much as I can. This mayorality is by the people of Bracknell, and whatever I do in the next year as mayor will be for the people of Bracknell. Thank you.
I now call upon Councillor Bettison to propose a vote of thanks to our retiring Mayor, Councillor Ash Mary. Mr. Mayor, colleagues, guests, honoured guests, it uh, falls to me uh, as leader of the council to express our heartfelt thanks to our retiring mayor, Councillor Ms. Ash Mary. And this year, for reasons that I'm sure are apparent, but I'll cover them in a minute or two. Um, I'd like to include in this vote of thanks the um, retiring mayoress and the retiring deputy mayor and mayoress. It's been difficult, shall we say, for us all for the last two years. And undoubtedly, I can't think of a more trying time for a mayor of a borough. What does a mayor do? Well, most days they go out and meet people. And the one thing that we were not allowed to do for much of the last two years is to go out and meet people. And I know that uh, in her term of office as uh, mayor, which was two years, uh, Ash managed to meet people online, waving to them from outside their building. I even saw photographs of her having afternoon tea with residents of a nursing home on a picnic table in the car park. And she raised her cup of tea and waved to the residents of the nursing home uh, who were holding their cups up and waving to her from inside. And I think that the, uh, the uh, hurdles that uh, our mayor has had to overcome were unprecedented and I hope never to be repeated. I can also remember the, uh, the sight of her and Isabel and Michael going round to almost every shop as it reopened to welcome the owners of the shop and the staff of the business back to work, serving the community that they had been trying their best to serve throughout the pandemic and throughout the lockdowns. So. It has certainly been a different period of office and they have risen to the challenges thrown at them by the pandemic and they will forever be in my mind as our pandemic mayoral team. They did a great job and uh, so I would like to seek your support in a motion of thanks to them all and uh, for the way in which they were such excellent first citizens to this borough. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councillor Bettison. I would now request the Chief Executive to present Councillor Ash Mary with the immediate past Mayor's badge. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. And before I do that, can I just ask Councillor Mrs. Hamilton to confirm that she's uh, uh, online? Um, Tim, is Gabby Kennedy here? I've just uh, got a WhatsApp to say that he is actually online, but her microphone is not working. And I've put on the chat uh, a request for her presence to be recorded. Okay. Thank you for that, uh, Councillor Kennedy. I can see on my list that uh, Councillor Hamilton is online, so we will do that. <coughs> so if I can ask if
We now move to item six on the agenda, which is the um, appointment of the deputy mayor. I propose that Councillor Lizzie Gibson be appointed deputy mayor for the forthcoming municipal year. Can I have a seconder? Thank you, Councillor Peterson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It gives me great pleasure to second that motion. Are there any other nominations? There being no further nominations, I declare that Councillor Lizzie Gibson has been duly appointed Deputy Mayor of the Borough of Bracknell Forest for the 22-23 municipal year. <laughs> we will now move to the formal declaration. I, Lizzie Gibson, having been elected to the office of Deputy Mayor of Bracknell Forest Council, having been elected to the office of Deputy Mayor of Bracknell Forest Council, declare that I take that office upon myself, declare that I take that office upon myself, and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it, and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it, according to the best of my judgment and ability. According to the best of my judgment and ability. Well, congratulations, Madam Deputy Mayor. I'd just like to thank you all for the trust you've put upon me, and I look forward to supporting Anchor in his mayoral year. Can I please invite the immediate past mayor, Ash Mary, Councillor Ash Mary, to uh, give a response to the vote of thanks? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Colleagues, friends, whoops, it's been a great privilege and honor to basically represent you, my colleagues, and to be first citizens for what has been a fantastic but challenging year. I have to say that what I have learned from this fantastic borough is the bigger the challenge, the bigger the heart from our residents. And there are treasures of darkness. COVID has been so difficult for so many, but the treasure of darkness has to be for me that neighbors have stepped up and got to know their neighbors. There has been a general strengthening of communities and the friendships that have come from these challenges live long and I hope will continue for many years to come. I have to say sincere thoughts for people who have lost friends, family, etc. But we're all here now and as I stand here with a much lighter chain, I think I'm missing something. I just want to say thank you. And one of the biggest pleasures of the mayoral year has been to say thank you to so many people 
doing extraordinary things and making a difference to other lives. And before I go, and yes, I am going, and I'm not going to make a long speech because this is Anchor's Day, I have to say thank you to Isabel, my fantastic mayoress, Michael, my fantastic deputy mayor, and Pepe, who have supported me through some challenging times. Alvin, who's helped with the social media. The uh, Liz, my mayoral support officer, the Democratic Services team, and a special shout out to Councillor Mrs. Mary Temperton, who has been watching my back, and I, I, am, I couldn't say that more highly. And you know what? Mary was the one who issued, issued the first Challenge the Mayor, and we had a super time singing and reading stories at a nursery. So I have to say thank you for that. Chief Executive and our leader, I, I applaud how you have been calm under pressure. With all the briefings during COVID, we really did make sure our residents were informed and my word, we stepped up to do everything that we needed. And we, as I say, we're here now. I wish Anka, Rishi, um, Lizzie and Mike all success in their civic years. Um, we're in very safe hands and enjoy. So as I leave now, thank you everybody. I will continue to support my military charities. I will continue now, hopefully, to work within the military community. We have a lot of veterans and families here and work with the leader and all of you to continue to make Bracknell such a super and special place to live and work. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Ashmeri. Uh, there will now be a small adjournment for about 10 minutes while we sort of get ready. Um, we will be back in about 10 minutes. Thank you.
please welcome the Mayor of the Borough of Bracknell Forest, Councillor Bandari. Good evening. Welcome to, the, to this annual meeting of the Borough Council. We now start with agenda item seven, Mayor's announcements. I would like to start first of all by highlighting the fantastic half marathon that we had over the weekend, the Lexicon half marathon, which has continued with a fantastic tradition of bringing the people of Bracknell and also from outside together for a, for a great day. Um, I took part in that last year, was not able to do this year, but I know sort of the amount of joy that it brings not only to the participants, but everyone who was involved. So congratulations to everyone who took part and, and made it such a success that it was. Um, for the second mayor's announcement, can I please hand over to Councillor Bettison to talk about our Ukraine guests. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Um, I, I speak as promised just to update uh, colleagues uh, on the uh, situation regarding the Ukraine guests who have uh, uh, taken uh, the opportunity of removing themselves to Bracknell Forest to escape the horrors of the war back at home in Ukraine. Um, the Council has continued to work closely with all partners across the voluntary community and faith sector uh, in order to offer a very warm welcome to people arriving from Ukraine as part of the Homes for Ukraine community sponsorship and also on the family visa routes um, over the last month or so. On Wednesday the 4th of May, the Council hosted a second event this time for all the known Homes for Ukraine scheme hosts. I attended this myself, along with colleagues from across the Council and partner organisation, including Involve, the DWP and the NHS. And I'm happy to say that our Member of Parliament, uh, James Sunderland, attended also. This was an informal opportunity for hosts to ask further questions and to encourage local support networks. Feedback from hosts was extremely positive, especially um, about the work that the council is doing to assist them to assist their guests from Ukraine. And uh, I was very pleased to hear at that, uh, that evening that many guests are settling in very well. To date, 61 households in Bracknell Forest have applied under the Homes for Ukraine scheme to host between them 141 Ukrainians that they have been matched with. In addition, there are over 350 households who have expressed an interest in being matched with incoming Ukrainians in the future. This is a hugely positive reflection of the goodwill of our community, as was mentioned earlier by uh, uh, our immediate past mayor. Um, so I'd like to say on behalf of you all, thank you to those residents that are stepping forward to help. They're doing a smashing job and, uh, uh, and we need to continue to support them. We're currently fin finalising a process to rematch Ukrainians with new hosts from the expression of interest list for the inevitable rare cases where the original plans are not able to continue or to go ahead. So far, 50 guests have arrived at their host's accommodation with more due over the coming days and weeks. We're already seeing Ukrainian children join new schools and adult arrivals beginning to seek and find employment. It's worth mentioning uh, at this point that uh, one thing that was a bit of a surprise to many, uh, certainly some of the uh, uh, Ukrainian guests, is that in the Ukraine, um, school only starts at the age of seven. And when they were contacted by our education department, 
to get them uh, into a school in the year in which they will be five, they, they were a little alarmed, but, but we point, we've been pointing out to them the advantages of early years. So, uh, uh, and they've, they've been accepting that concept. So, the, I have to say that this all shows exceptional commitment to our community, and we are, of course, fully uh, supportive of their integration into our borough. And, uh, and once again, I'd like to thank everyone for welcoming these people so wholeheartedly. Um, the borough has also welcomed Ukrainian guests under the family visa scheme. And this is where new arrivals have joined family members who are already resident permanently here in Bracknell Forest. Um, although it is a challenge to us for the fact that the government are not able to provide us with details on the numbers of these people who are arriving under this visa route. Because if you're just coming to stay with relatives, you don't have to notify the government. So, so we, we, we are using all sorts of ways of finding out where they are and reaching out to them with offers of help. So we therefore do encourage any local Ukrainian families that have welcomed family members from Ukraine to stay with them to contact us so that we can assist them with support, advice or guidance. And we ha do have a dedicated email address for that and, and uh, or also a, a dedicated extension if you just dial in on our 352000 number. So that uh, should bring everybody up to speed, uh, Mr Mayor. And uh, uh, as always, happy to provide anybody that wants with a, uh, a written copy of this and uh, an update as and when. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councillor Bettison. Coming to another um, uh, Mayor's announcements, can I request Councillor Dale Birch to talk about the Heathlands opening? Thank you, Mr Mayor. You will see uh, some photographs uh, being shown, I hope. Yes, lovely. Yeah, uh, I was really pleased and honoured to be present uh, uh, and give a welcoming speech when His Royal Highness, the Duke of Gloucester, opened our Heathland Reablement and Dementia Centre yesterday. I toured the unit with him and he engaged with lots of staff and centre residents. What an amazing facility. That wasn't just my comment. That was his as well. His Royal Highness understood a great deal about the use of the centre. And as an architect himself, he was fascinated with the internal design, which is a dementia friendly design. He unveiled a commemorative plaque, see in the picture. And after my speech, his replying speech was nothing short of inspirational. When in his final comment, he mentioned that his mother had died at the age of 102 and had had issues. And when his daughter visited her, his mother said, I don't recognize who you are, but why do I love you? Mm. There was no doubt His Royal Highness knew the value of this important place. Can I also tonight, Mr. Mayor, again thank everyone that has been involved in the delivery of this vital caring facility. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Birch. Um, for another Mayor's announcement, can I request Councillor Mark Brunel Walker to talk us about the Jubilee events coming up? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And uh, very briefly, um, and there's a lot of information on the web Lexicon website, as you would expect from the success of previous events that we've uh, run in and around the town centre with the Giants, with As Water Falls, and with more activity coming up, the Lexicon has put on a, um, a, a splendid range of different events running over the course of the, the, um, the Jubilee week. Um, we have a beacon lighting ceremony. We have the performance uh, or the, the uh, viewing of... Um, 
a movie that's been shot in, in Bracknell Forest where we've captured the memories of Bracknell residents with their memories of previous royal events and that's uh, something I'm particularly looking forward to seeing and leading all the way up to the lighting of the beacon uh, which will be in Bond Square and uh, the lexicon proms which promises to be um, an absolutely amazing event so during the course of the half-term holidays if you are around come on down there's plenty to see and do uh, in and around the lexicon for the celebrate the jubilee thank you councillor Bruno Walker um, can I now request councillor Gareth Barnard to talk about climate change Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. So today at Garthill College, representatives of every secondary school, including Kennel Lane, assembled for a climate change conference. The uh, planning meeting for this took place during 2019, and it was originally due to be delivered this time in 2020. But uh, as we discussed elsewhere, events in trying. What I want to say is that the guest of honour today, Chris Packham, who absolutely blew everyone away this afternoon with his fantastic and motivational talk on climate change and how young people can get involved, commented on the commitment, the enthusiasm, the focus and the creativity of all the students present there today. Uh, during an action plan workshop, they came up with ideas on how they can enhance the environment in their school, how they support other students to uh, learn and understand how to make changes for the future. Um, I think the really good thing about it was the creativity, the ideas they came up with absolutely fantastic and I now look forward to working with my fellow executive members and the climate change advisory panel to see how we can take some of these ideas forward. Um, Chris Packham I think made a really fantastic point at the end when he said when you think about climate change we're in a period of transition we can't change what has gone before but by showing compassion and understanding to those that are still on the journey whilst embracing the ideas of those that have a clear vision for what needs to happen as a community, you know, we can make a difference. And uh, a wonderful thing was when he came over to uh, the table we were on at the start of the meeting, he said, you know, who are the councillors and who are the officers in charge here? And we thought, oh dear, well, you know, we've done wrong. He said, fantastic. When I came into your borough, the verges were uncut. It looked like a haven for wildlife. And when he also heard during this, that in Bratnell Forest, 40% of our borough is still forest. He, you know, he really thought this was a good starting point. It's a fantastic day but really to commend the students for all their involvement and engagement today. All year groups from year seven right the way through to year 12 were represented. And I think it just really showed our students at the very best and uh, look forward to working with the projects. Not quite sure about the chickens at the rise, but I think we'll work on that going forward and see where we go. But a really wonderful day and I uh, um, hope that some of the students can showcase things here in the future to show us what they've been doing. Thank you, Councillor Barnard. We now come to agenda item eight, which are the appointments by the leader of the council. I call upon the leader of the council, Councillor Bettison, to present the report. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Mayor. Um, I would ask uh, that the council kindly note uh, the uh, report that begins on page five of their papers and uh, uh, I'd like to move item 8, A, B and C. And uh, I think a, as it is l largely a technical paper, there is no point in really saying much more than that, Mr Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Bettison. Next, we have the report regarding the establishment and membership of committees, appointments to external organisations and council champions. Does any councillor have a question? Madam Deputy Mayor, are there any questions from those joining remotely? N none are currently indicated. Thank you. So if there are no further questions, would any councillor like to move the recommendations? Thank you, Councillor Peterson. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Is it gives me pleasure to move the recommendations as uh, they appear on page 21, um, the establishment of committees and associated matters, and that is uh, parts A, B and C. Thank you, Councillor Bertison. Is that seconded? Councillor Birch, it, that is seconded, Mr Mayor. Does any councillor wish to speak? Madam Deputy Mayor, are there any requests to speak from those joining remotely? None at the present. 
Okay. The recommendations are set out on the screen. Can all those present in the chamber please indicate by raising your hand if you support the recommendation. Thank you. Any against? Any abstentions? Thank you. That is carried. Next, we have the report regarding the absence from meeting of Councillor Mrs. McKinsey. Does any councillor have a question? Madam Deputy Mayor, are there any questions from those joining remotely? No current questions. If there are no further questions, would any councillor like to move the recommendations? Thank you, Councillor Bitson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I should like to move the recommendation at item 10, that being the absence from meetings of Councillor Mrs. McKenzie. Is that seconded? Councillor Birch, that is seconded, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Birch. Does any councillor wish to speak? Madam Deputy Mayor, are there any requests to speak from those joining remotely? Mr. Mayor, there are not. Thank you. The recommendations are set out on screen. Can all those present in the chamber please indicate by raising your hand if you support the recommendation? Thank you. Any against? Any abstentions? Thank you. That is carried. I now declare this annual council meeting closed and hand over to the chief executive to manage the series of mini meetings of the main committees and panels. Right. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and good evening, everybody. Uh, as the uh, mayor said, there will now be a series of special meetings to make appointments to committees for the ensuing municipal year to include election of chair, appointment of vice chair, appointment of panels, subcommittees and advisory groups as appropriate. Uh, fortunately, or in your view possibly unfortunately, the, uh, the use of hybrid technology has robbed us of the ability to conduct the annual test of uh, physical and mental agility. <laughs> so, by, so beloved of members and uh, uh, a uh, a feature of council meetings from around 1890, I think, <laughs> until, until 2019, such is the modernity of it. Um, but for today, you will have to just uh, accept me uh, running through the meetings um, in the uh, order that will be on the screen, uh, that's on the screen, so starting with the uh, Overview and Scrutiny Commission. So the first meeting to commence is the Overview and Scrutiny Commission and shown on the screen is the Commission membership as agreed by the annual council meeting. I note that we have received apologies from Councillor Mossum and I think that's it for the... Uh, Councillor Temperton. I can't see her on there. Oh, uh, okay. Ah, yes, yes, okay, sorry. <laughs> Orientate myself and get new glasses. <coughs> and there's the uh, the opportunity for the record for the fastest overview and scrutiny meeting uh, uh, now blown. <laughs> but, uh, um, so we have nominations for the chair, vice chair, and proposals for the membership of the three scru overview and scrutiny panels as set out in the annual council agenda papers and again on the screen. If there are any other nominations or changes to be made, please indicate by raising your hand, uh, either physically or electronically. No, nope, there being none, those are carried, and I declare that the uh, meeting of the Overview and Scrutiny Committee is closed. <coughs> so the next meeting is of the Employment Committee. And shown on the screen now is the committee membership as agreed at the count annual council meeting. I note that we have received apologies from Councillor Tullet, I hope. <laughs> um, uh, so there's a, a, a small amendment we need to make on the, uh, uh, the, the membership there. Um, but uh, with... with 
that notwithstanding, uh, we have nominations for the chair, vice chair, and proposals for the membership of the sub and advisory groups as set out in the annual council agenda papers and on the screen. If there are any other nominations or changes to be made, please indicate by raising your hand physically or electronically. There being none, so I think as those being carried subject to the substitution of the, uh, the correct name for uh, uh, ex-councillor Tullock on the Employment Committee and declare that the meeting is closed. <coughs> so the third meeting is of the Governance and Audit Committee and shown on the screen now is the, is the um, committee membership agreed at the annual council meeting. Not uh, aware of any apologies from those members. Um, so we have nominations for the chair, vice chair, and proposals for the membership of the subcommittees as set out in the annual council agenda uh, papers, and those are on screen now. If there are any other nominations or changes to be made, please indicate by raising your hand. being none I, those are carried and I declare that meeting is closed so we now move on to the meeting of the licensing and safety committee and shown on the screen that the committee membership was agreed by the annual council meeting I note that we've got apologies from councillor Atkinson counts uh, I think that's it there. Um, <coughs> but otherwise everyone else is present. We have nominations for chair, vice chair, and proposals for the membership of the licensing panels as set out in the annual council agenda papers and again on screen. If there are any other nominations or changes, please indicate by raising your hand. There being none, those are carried and I declare that meeting closed. Next meeting is the planning committee, shown on screen is the committee membership as agreed at the annual council meeting. I note that there are apologies from Councillor Mossum, uh, but otherwise everyone else is present. We have nominations for the chair and vice chair as set out in the annual council agenda papers and on screen. If there are any other nominations, please indicate by raising your hand. There being none, those are carried, and I declare that meeting closed. And that is the end of the mini meetings of council. And I'll ask the Democratic Services to confirm once the meeting has stopped being broadcast. <coughs>